Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another vlog. It is almost 7 a.m. No, it's 7, almost 7.30. I woke up at 6. I'm walking to a workout class. So I just recently started getting back into taking workout classes in the morning, well, workout classes in general, because obviously during COVID, the situation is you have to do it at home, which, I mean, I just don't have enough motivation to do that. But <laughs> I think going to a class and being around other people and having an instructor lead the class actually motivates me to do a really good workout. I actually booked this at the wrong place. Well, the right place, but the wrong studio. So I had a little bit of a walk this morning, but not too bad. Um, yeah, I go to this place called New York Pilates. Oh, they're great. They do this class called Abs, Arms, Ass. <laughs> So uh, yeah, it's on like the reformer, so it's pretty good. And yeah, I also have an Olaplex treatment in my hair, so I did it last night. What treat is this? Okay, I'm still good. I did it last night, and uh, so that way it would kind of like dry, so I wouldn't going in with like wet hair. <laughs> but then after the class, when I shower, it'll be like perfect, so <sighs> yay. And um, oh, I'm wearing my Love Shack fancy set the tie-dye one, so that's fun. Oh, Thompson Street. Oh no, okay, I gotta keep going. Oh look, there's the World Trade Center. It looks a little foggy this morning. So that's cool. Yellow cab, ugh, oh, I love New York City. I did my hair and makeup, I have made a smoothie, so I'm just sitting at my desk right now ready to just start doing work, start my Friday work day. And yeah, I thought that the class was really good. Some parts of it I thought were actually a little bit easy, and then other parts were definitely very hard. So overall, I thought it was pretty good. There, um, everyone was obviously wearing a mask, everything was like cleaned down, the class wasn't full, so I felt pretty safe about it. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna do work and uh, sit my smoothie, answer emails. I have to make a really big deck today, so that'll be fun, not really. <laughs>
also while I was out shopping, <laughs> I went into Sephora and I got a couple new beauty things. I got... So Merit Beauty, I don't know if, it's a newer brand, it's a clean brand, I think of it in the same realm as Ilia, and they just do, I mean, typical makeup. I got a concealer and a blush, ooh, okay. So the Merit Beauty, it looks like this, you've probably seen ads for it. I like that it's a concealer in a little stick form because my other concealers are in a pot, and if I just want to go out and about touching up during the day, then this is like... I feel like it would be really easy and I got this you can use she said that you could use this for under your eyes or for spots I don't put makeup under my eyes so for me it would be more so for spots so like for example right there you can just go over it and obviously it does require still a little bit of blend with the finger and it's covered up that's really cute okay the shade that I got is called silk also for the merit blush I was really excited to try this one because like I said, I've seen so many ads for it. It is a cream blush. The shade that I got is called Beverly Hills. I already have blush on, so I'm just going to kind of wipe this away to test this one out. So it looks like that. That's kind of cool. I almost bought the Ilia cream blush. I had it in my bag, and then there was a woman there who was like a rep specifically for Merit at Sephora and she was like I used to love Elia and like I actually like this one better oh yeah that's it's nice it's very blendable I also got another blush this one someone who watches my channel actually reached out about they said that because uh it reminded them of this Dior blush which is a super bright pink it's like it's called rosy glow and it, it doesn't like come off that pink on you it, it just gives you like a nice rosy healthy glow but when they saw that in the video they were like oh you should try this Fenty one this is in the shade bikini martini and it looks like that so just to compare side by side here they are so two very pretty pretty br blushes this is the Dior rosy glow it's actually a powder versus this one is a cream blush so I'm also going to take off the blush on that side and try applying this Ooh. yeah it's nice it does blend nicely I like this because it reminds me a lot of the shade uh, Puff by Glossier, the, the, the Puff Cloud Paint. It's kind of like that really pinky pink blush, which I actually think can be very sweet and, and not just like a nice little look. I think sometimes when you see a bright pink color like this, you don't have to be afraid of it because it doesn't, it doesn't like, as you can see, it doesn't like look like that on me. It just looks like natural. So I actually really like that. Thank you for the recommendation. <laughs> okay, I also got this lip product from Dior. This has been around for so long. I don't know why I've never tried it. They The lip scrub is really kind of like their OG product. But um, this one actually has a color in it. And this color is brand new. It's called Ultra Pink. I feel like there is really a pink makeup theme going on. Oh my gosh, it's that same color too. Okay, well let's try this. I have nothing on my lips. Mmm. Tastes nice. Feels nice. Mmm. Mmm. Actually, I feel like in real life I like it, but on camera for, so for some reason everything is a little bit more of a cool tone versus in real life it's a little bit more warm. On the camera, I don't think that I like it on me, but in person, I think it's alright. I don't know. I need to kind of give I need to give this one a little bit more time to see how much I like it because I have to think like would I actually out of all of the other lip products I have would I actually grab this one over those ones you know or else return 
And then I also just got two refills of products that I use often. This is the Living Proof Dry Shampoo. This is a miniature version because I like this because if I go anywhere, I can easily take it with me, especially if I'm not necessarily showering <laughs> at their place. It's easy to just like the next day kind of just touch up my roots to make sure I'm not looking greasy. And then the Too Faced mascara. This is also just like such a classic. And I've been using natural mascaras. Like my go to mascaras lately have been the Ilia mascara and then also the Glossier mascara. But I don't have like a glam one. And my eyelashes are short and they point down. So I need a good glam one. So I just refilled on that. It's raining out. I love a good summer rain. about the rain in the summer but it's like it it smells a specific way and it just gives you a different feeling than the rain during other seasons wow it's really coming down now i feel really bad for anyone who is eating outdoors right now <laughs> they're probably like oh crap gotta get inside or anyone who went for a walk without an umbrella. I see a guy without an umbrella. He's actually just chilling. He's like, yeah, I'm getting wet. Oh, wow. Okay, it's really, really coming down. He's not walking any faster. That guy is the level of chill that we all need to be. the day now done with the work day I just got dressed for my Friday night I'm wearing this airy skirt I think I wore this last weekend it's the white skirt that is the Love Shack fancy dupe but it's only like $40 as opposed to like I don't know two or three hundred dollars that the Love Shack fancy one is and I think that this one is actually back in stock so that's very exciting I'll leave it linked down below this top that I got from Breath of Youth over the winter time. I'm excited to actually get to wear it now that we're in s summer. Actually, now we're in summer because we're past Memorial Day weekend. Crazy. And I tried on a couple different pairs of shoes, but these white ones seem to just work the best with the outfit. So, in terms of what I'm doing, I'm going over to Lyle's apartment. It was his friend Gion's birthday yesterday, so him and Gian and his other friend are going over to Lyle's and we're all gonna have some sushi and then after that I don't know what we're gonna do but it should be fun I like with nights like that I'm like I don't know how to dress because I don't know exactly what the plan is I feel like boys <sighs> I'm just gonna like mini rant for a second here <laughs> boys have like either casual or like dressed up they have only like they have very like two-dimensional sorry just like one dimensional I guess ways of dressing they're like and when I ask a guy like oh what should I like what do people wear to this he's like just be casual like, they always just say be casual and it's like no 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 as a girl I feel like every single different type of event requires a different type of outfit like there's 50 million shades of gray you know kind of <laughs> i don't think i'm explaining this very well at all but you know what i mean i just feel like when i like go out with like when i go over when i'm hanging out with lyle it's like we'll go from one thing to the next and i don't know what the plan is going to be so the outfit that i pick has to be one that's kind of just will match multiple different situations so that's kind of what I'm doing with this outfit. Oh my goodness.
Saturday morning now. Last night was really fun. We all had sushi at Lyle's and then afterwards we basically went to the Lower East Side. It was interesting. It really felt like the city was back. One of the bars that we went to actually had to check if you were vaccinated. You couldn't get into the bar unless you were fully vaccinated, which I thought was kind of awesome. So we kind of had to show the proof on our phone that we had gotten the vax <laughs> and uh, we went in and, and that was nice. Um, but like, you know, it was still like open air, windows open, all of that. And what else? I'm trying to think. And we got pizza afterwards. <laughs> and then now this morning, it is 90 degrees in New York today. It is going to be so hot. So, well, I'm in my bathroom, <laughs> so I don't know if I can show you, but I'm like, okay, I'm putting on a t-shirt and a pair of shorts <laughs> because I know that it's just gonna be one of those days where it's like, ah, oh, it's too much and you just wanna be comfortable. So yep, yeah, hair back, shorts, t-shirt sunscreen i put so much sunscreen on my face i'm gonna put some sunscreen on my body as well i'm gonna do my makeup and then lyle's on his way over because we're going to go get brunch hopefully at this place called bubby's that we love it's in tribeca it's just like a cute little kind of go-to brunch spot they do like pancakes and all the typical brunch things the, th the thing with bubby's though is that they don't take reservations so we're basically gonna have to go there see if we can get in get in line hopefully we're not waiting too long because it's a hot day and we can't walk there in this heat so we're gonna have to take an uber i don't really know how many other options there's really only one other option there that we go to when we can't get into bubbies <laughs> so yeah we'll see what we do but should be fun it was funny, the guys last night were talking about being on my YouTube channel and doing like a makeup video with them and I was like, I don't know if you guys would like that or think that it was funny at all, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Having these drawers here has been amazing. It's been such a game changer, just being able to actually access all of my makeup and my using my brand new tube of mascara from Too Faced. I love when you open up a brand new one because I tend to use my mascaras like to the bone where they become really dry and I'm still using them. So when I use a brand new one, I'm like, oh, that's what, mas what mascara is supposed to feel like. To wait to get in? I think so. I think it's like tickets, right? Like you have to get tickets. Oh, it is? Awesome. Adding new red flag to queue. What are you supposed to do there? I think it's like almost like a park that you just sit in, right? It's pretty nice. This park? Yeah. I don't know. We haven't been yet, but it looks nice. Yeah, the, maybe the solution to the walk on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
tudo de lá. Soul cycle outside. I feel like that's kind of cool. Makes sense. If I lived closer, I would definitely do it. Sunday morning now so I think the last time I talked to you I was getting ready we ended up going to brunch at Bubby's didn't have a wait at all we just walked in I think for two people sometimes it's a little bit easier than when a big group because they have so many little tables for two so yeah we sat right down we sat inside because it had the AC and it's 90 degrees out and Right now, I am just folding my laundry. So after Bubby's, we went to Hudson Yards, which is a new neighborhood in the last couple years in New York. And yeah, they built it up basically with apartments and a really big mall, which I mean, on a day where it's 90 plus degrees, just walking inside of a mall with the AC is not a bad idea so we just kind of walked around looked at some stores and then we got ice cream there was a little soft serve truck outside so we got ice cream i also saw that they were doing a soul cycle class right outside which was kind of cool so i thought that that was awesome that you know they're doing that outside so it's in the open air if i lived closer to hudson yards i would totally do that because i've been wanting to go back to soul cycle I'm not like a huge cycler, but I just like every once in a while because I know that it's like you burn so many calories. I'm not very good at it, like, and I think that that's why I like Soul Cycle better than I like Flywheel because I think of it as like Soul Cycle is more like I like it because I used to do dance, so you kind of like go to the rhythm and they play fun music, versus Flywheel is more of it, at least what I think of it as more of a competition and more numbers focused and some people actually really like that a lot of people actually like flywheel better than soul cycle for that reason so it's just about whatever your personal preference is and then after that we tried to get an, an uber back and I think that the uber was stuck in traffic or something because it took so long to get to us we ended up waiting an hour and then it just never came so then I canceled it and Lyle did it on his phone <laughs> And then we went back to his apartment and while he took a nap, I did my laundry. Yeah, we ordered some food for dinner and just ate. We watched a documentary on, I say documentary, documentary on black holes, which was really interesting. Oh, the scientists are so smart. It's just, it blows my mind how they can you know come up with these pages long equations and I don't, know, I don't know it's just really cool but anyways i could go on for so long talking about space and just how much it's like mind flowing but now i'm just in my apartment folding my laundry it's also 90 degrees today so <laughs> Yes, we will see how that goes, but what I would like to do today is, okay, so in my one of my previous vlogs, I got those Ikea Alex shelves, I think that was last week, and inside of the, sh inside of the drawers, I want to organize things further, so I really want to go to the container store, because obviously they have like everything possible, and I just think that that would be really fun. 
but it's up at the, the closest one is up in Flatiron, so I could either do like a 30 minute walk there, which I mean in 90 degree weather would be insane, or I could bear it and take the subway, which I haven't done in, well, I did the one time. <laughs> I've only taken the subway once since March 2020. Or I could take an Uber, but the Uber will probably be very costly. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do, but for now, just some laundry folding. <laughs> just left the container store. I got so many good things. This bag. So I had to take an Uber back because walking the way here was so hot. <laughs> but yeah, going back, especially carrying stuff, it's just easier to take an Uber. Also, so crazy, when I was in the container store, I saw Dale and Claire from The Bachelor, or The Bachelorette, <laughs> in the store they were just walking around together and it was so crazy i was like oh my gosh it just it wasn't real i was like wow that is them <laughs> first i saw dale and i was like wow that guy is like kind of attractive looking <laughs> and i was like oh my god that's clear and it was the coolest thing so um yeah i like i took i'll put up some pictures i took like some like sly pictures of them when they went down the aisle because i didn't want to be so obvious and like just pull out my phone and take a picture of them straight on because I feel like that would be weird so then when they went um but then when I was in line to check out they were in line right behind me and I was like to the woman who like works at like who was like behind the counter I was like do you watch The Bachelor like and she's like no I don't and I was like okay those people like right behind me like they're on the show and she's like oh my god I wish that I watched it so yeah that was so funny so if you guys are Bachelor fans you'll know what I'm talking about <laughs> but I just thought that it was cool I mean it's so cool I feel like in New York you really can, you really can just see 
celebrities walking around on the streets. I mean, I'm trying to think who else that I've seen. I've seen like people who are celebrities to me, like total girl bosses. Like I saw Leandra and Medine from um, Man Repeller. I also have seen like Emily, um, Emily Weiss from Glossier. I've seen like people like that. I mean, it really is just so crazy. It's so cool. I'm like a little bit starstruck, but anyways, back to organize my shelves. I'm so excited. Or my little drawers. <laughs> I also just <laughs> want to show you guys what I got from a container store. So I have a pretty big bag here and I've got a lot of containers. So first of all, I got these, I got these two containers. I mean, we, these are always going to be like small containers. These are called the medium organizer, but I, what I thought was cool was that they also come with this little bin divider that fits perfectly into it. So I figured I could put like little makeup things in there like bronzers and blushes. So I got two of those. I also got two little smaller ones, which I figured would be cute for my little hair clips. And then also one potentially for out my scrunchies. This one, I forget what I was going to put in this. And also, I totally bought the wrong one that had the little thingy. I was going to grab the other one that didn't have a little stain in it. But that's okay. I got a little pink one. I think it's cute. Okay, this is exciting. So this is for jewelry. So these are going to fit, I'm thinking, like this in one of the drawers. And yeah, there's this one that has a bunch of little containers. So you could put like earrings in each one or rings or just any little small jewelry piece. And then this one, which has the kind of long ones which you can stick rings into. And then these longer ones, so I figure I'll put some bracelets in here and then necklaces right there. So that'll be fun. I need to rearrange the drawers a little bit though to fit those in. Also fun, this is a lipstick container. So I don't know if all of my lipsticks will fit in here because some of them might be too tall to stand up in the drawer. But, I mean, here they are. I think it's, <laughs> I still think it's really fun. And this fits 24 lipsticks. And then I got this one. I think I'm going to put my foundations lined up in here. Three more little square ones. So I have two like shorter ones and then one a little bit deeper one. So I'm gonna see kind of where these will fit in. The, so what I did before I left was I took a picture of each drawer and so that I knew like, you know, what I have in each drawer and what needs to be organized. And then I also took a picture of the measurements. Ooh. I basically have this little pink measuring tape. So I measured the drawers, like, you know, the depth and everything and took a picture of that. So it was easy when I was in the store to just kind of say, oh, okay, that would probably fit there. The only thing that wasn't easy was I didn't take pictures of how big each of my makeup things are. So some of this might be a guess. Some of it might need to be returned. Some of it might not fit. So I might need to go back. We'll see, but I mean, at least I'm trying and at least it'll be better than it was before. So it might be a little bit of work, but you know, I think sometimes those tours can be a little bit overwhelming. So that's what I was kind of trying to tell myself. But yeah, okay, so I'm gonna try, I'm gonna organize these, which is really exciting. I think I'm gonna see if they fit first before I take any of the stickers off, which might be a smart idea. grocery shopping. I'm walking to Whole Foods today because it is too hot to walk all the way to Trader Joe's. It's a little bit further. It's still 90 degrees. So, yep, got my bags. It's a beautiful day out. There is a life I lead in the 
silly Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am whole again? Wait, hold on Put me together, take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone Wait, hold on Put me together, take me back where I belong Take you back to my youth And show you what I wish I knew My will is strong with a place to lean In the moment I Alright, <laughs> I am going to do a Whole Foods haul because I feel like it might be slightly different than the Trader Joe's haul to be honest. I buy kind of a lot of the same things, but it is a little bit different and also, you know, different grocery store, so first thing I got were of course flowers. I always get flowers. They're definitely way cheaper at Trader Joe's but that's okay. These little roses were about five dollars I think it was. So yeah little pink roses and then this was like a 16 count of African roses which I thought they were really beautiful because they're kind of like I guess sort of like little ruffled edges and these were I think ten dollars so not too bad. I got a yellow pepper because I'm going to roast this up for a dinner. A red onion because I'm also going to roast this up in the same dinner. Some Brussels sprouts for the same thing. It's basically like a dish where you roast these things and then you put it together with rice and blah blah blah. So yep, <laughs> Brussels sprouts. I got two avocados. I will put in my salads for lunch. When I was on my way out in the checkout counter, I saw these two little packets. These are from Vital Proteins. They're collagen peptides. They're just little powders that you can put in a smoothie. And I used to get the big tub of this and then I kind of stopped. I got something else. But uh, yeah, I just uh, figured since I'm out of protein and putting that in my smoothies, I'll just get these for now as like a little temporary fix. I think they were like 99 cents each, which is great. I'm going, I have two limes, which I'm going to use some lime juice for the kind of like, I guess, not sauce, but yeah, there's kind of like a Greek yogurty sauce that goes on top of the roasted dinner thing they're going to make, so I got those. As a healthy snack, I got this coconut flour tortilla chips with a splash of lime. I thought that the, that sounded really good and that these might be good. It says, why coconut? Coconuts are low impact. They use less water. They're nutrient dense. They're well suited to organic farming and they're a good source of fiber. So it's 140 calories for 14 chips. I figure not too bad. I got sweet potatoes, which is also part of that dinner thing. Greek yogurt, which is going to be part of that. It's like a lime cilantro sauce. I got raspberries and blues blueberries, which are pretty typical for me when I will freeze them and put them in my smoothies, along with strawberries. And then also some salad lettuce. The one that I got this week is a spring mix and herbs. Yeah, it's just various types of lettuce leaves. <laughs> this is some cilantro, which I will use for that dip. It's not a sauce, it's more of a, well, it's not a dip. I don't know, <laughs> it's for that. Tomatoes for my salads. I got a block of Parmesan cheese because to be completely honest, I just want to like chip off a piece of this and eat it because I went to, I took Lyle de Carbone for his birthday and one of the things that they gave us at the start of the meal was just like a block of Parmesan and it's not this type of cheese that I would think to just eat on its own, but it was so good and I was kind of craving it. So I got some 
And then the very last thing is a chocolate bar. This is hazelnuts in milk chocolate because I always need something sweet. It's a bad habit, but after I eat dinner and stuff, I just have to eat a little sweet treat and that is it for this week. <laughs> guys it's night time now I've just arranged some of my the roses that I got at Whole Foods and yeah I mean I think from here I'm basically probably going to shower get the 90 degree day off of me and hop into bed into my new clean sheets and then start the work week tomorrow I'm actually really excited for this week to go quickly because once the week is over I am taking off well I'll be off the weekend and then the Monday Tuesday Wednesday because I have my cousin's baby shower up in Boston next weekend so next weekend's vlog we're gonna be up in Boston which will be really fun and then after that since obviously uh, since I'm from New Hampshire and uh, I'll be going up back up with my parents to go hang out at my house for a few days and so it'll be really nice to take off I have so many PTO days that I just know that if I don't force myself to take off I'll just never use uh, and of course in the summertime is a good time to do it when the weather's you know a bit nicer and things are a little bit slower ish <laughs> so yeah I'm excited for that but anyways I really hope that you enjoyed this vlog and Definitely don't forget to subscribe and check out the Fashion Squirrel, of course, and hopefully I will see you guys next time. Alright, <laughs> bye!